So I'm basically sitting here surrounded by designer bags and rubbish. Cheers and welcome to my world. to my channel and welcome to all of my rubbish yes we are here to talk about my cleaning product empties because apparently this is a thing on YouTube cheers again I'm gonna need this because I'm gonna have to make this rubbish interesting the truth of the matter is I'm doing vlogmas which means I'm uploading a video every day which means I need content so I'm gonna talk about my rubbish because that's content somebody's got to like it somebody's gonna like bleach as much as I like bleach enough of all that let's move on and remind you if you're not already subscribed I would love for you to subscribe while you're there you can ring my bell and you can give me a thumbs up because all that is really good for my channel I know it's all about me okay that's put you off already hasn't it no don't go away come back let's talk about bleach let's talk about zooflora i mean mrs hinch she's made a fortune talking about these things come on let's do this see i'm working hard at making this really really interesting right let's say uh, have a little sip have you got your favorite beverage so we can talk about bleach and comfort and aerial and all those lovely things and not about chanel bags so sit back Grab yourself your favourite beverage and let's enjoy this. Let's let's go with this. Let's come on. This is Vlogmas. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna start off with one of my favourite products, the bleach. Now let me explain something here. It's my husband that does the shopping for these sorts of things. I do the shopping for these sorts of things <laughs> yes so i'll put on the list bleach okay so if i need bleach we have a list in the kitchen with all the products you know it's, it's our shopping list and we we run out of something we write it down blah 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 so okay so i'll just put bleach on the list i won't put as the bleach domestos bleach or anything i just put bleach so what he does is he goes in and he buys the cheapest one he literally looks and looks at the, the, the quantities and all of that. That's how Rico shops. Oh, I need it, I need it. It's okay, it's okay, it's not the wine, it's fine. So anyway, that's how he shops. He'll go in and he'll think, he'll look to see which is the best buy. Now, unless I say to him, do not get such and such a week, he'll just get whatever is the cheapest at the moment. So I have, three different makes of bleach here and the only time he'll buy like the named product for example Domestos is if it's on um, offer or something like that he just he looks at the pricing of everything see there's a real Scot in him he really is he was born in Scotland so he's a true Scotsman mm -hmm. okay so let's start off so I have here one I hope there's no bleach in there two three four bleaches from asda here this is not you know very long that i've had these products you know anyway but yeah i do use a lot of bleach so this is the asda thick bleach 24 hour protection and you know with all this is going on you know all of this that's going on i'm going through a lot of bleach i 
actually I go through a lot of bleach anyway I put it down my toilets I put it down my sinks I bleach things with it I have a spray bottle of bleach I do use a lot of bleach for various things so I must always have bleach I have a bleach in every bathroom and the kitchen so this is okay I've never felt the need to say to do not get as as does make of bleach so it's a thick bleach and it does the job so I'm quite happy with that okay we're not finished with the bleach I also have Domestos here this kind of yellowy one unbeatable strength Domestos blah 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 these are the type I tend to use for um down the toilet whereas like the these kind of non scented ones I, I might bleach the whites I might look at something that's not so um white looking and add a little bleach and you know I'll use it for different things so this type I tend to use for um the toilet um Domestos we have another Domestos they must have been on offer and we have another Domestos definitely on offer and we also have one here from Sainsbury's which means we were probably desperate for bleach so I said to him when he was out shopping get me a bleach he was in Sainsbury's and he picked it up Rico shops from different places he has certain products that he'll buy from certain places so to have a Sainsbury's one we were definitely um, needing bleach desperately cheers to bleach Okay, let's move on to washing up liquid. It's good old fairy. It's not gonna be store's own make when it comes to fairy. I've tried them, there is no comparison. It has to be fairy. Do you remember all the adverts with these when we were um, younger? Anybody think of any of the adverts? Can't think of one just now, but I can, I can see the pictures of the mom and the little girl standing at the sink. Anyway, yeah, it has to be fairy for me I do have a dishwasher I do rinse everything before I put it in the dishwasher I don't wash it with fairy but I do rinse but I, I do go through a lot of this considering I have a dishwasher but anyway that's that's the big size and I've only got one sitting here so that goes to show this hasn't been sitting around for too long okay next item love 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 this I keep one of these upstairs in my bedroom and I keep one downstairs in the kitchen so this is the carpet stain remover so sometimes Lily if she's got an upset tummy or if you know when we all used to get together and we all used to have our wine and have a good time with the family and there would be a spillage out would come the carpet stain remover by Dr Beckman there we go that's that they always need to have this in the house and this is the only one that's empty just now so not bad okay next item I have is Mr Muscle so that's one two and three I don't use this stuff I don't use this so this is a spray for the shower so you're supposed to have a shower spray this and leave it on and you're not supposed to get all those marks in the shower personally I have a shower and then I just dry it down straight away that's that's the rule of the house Rico likes to spray this so what he does is he'll have a shower spray this use the squidgy thing for cleaning windows and then dry the shower Yummy. I'll uh, use a squidgy thing I'll shower use a squidgy thing and then just dry off all the excess and normally give it a good clean because Rico's <laughs> doesn't really get into the corners but that's just between you and moi okay next item you know I spray everything that comes into the house I know some people say blah blah you don't need to da -da -da. moi has to spray everything that comes into the house and that's where the ditto antibacterial all-in-one disinfectant spray comes in so if somebody delivers something it gets sprayed that's that's the rule of the house any packaging anything that comes into the house even in shopping it all gets sprayed so we have one two three four five 
six Dettol all-in-one disinfectant sprays and when I can't get them then I go on to the stores all make this is charm i can't remember who does charm it could be audi it could be pen stretches it could be bnm i can't remember but it could be its own make but this is the same sort of idea as the Dettol. it's an antibacterial disinfectant spray kills 99.9 percent .9 of germs and this is the same this is the fabulosa one disinfectant all-in-one disinfectant and you can use these everywhere and I do I use them everywhere I use them to spray things I use them to spray beds I use them to spray clothes when I get clothes in so when I order from Zara everything gets sprayed before I try it on yeah I'm that weird though okay let's move on to window lane and I only have one here just now I clean my windows every week so when i do my thorough clean once a week each window in each room will get cleaned this is the window lane i've never ever ever found the product i'm going to be honest with you that i do my windows and i don't walk past on a sunny day go oh this is there's a smear there's a mark there's a line i've never been 100 percent with my windows it doesn't matter what window cleaning product i've tried everything i've tried just doing it with the squidgy I, honestly i have tried a lot i even had a window cleaner give me a cloth that he used for his outside windows you know a chamois type thing i've never i've never ever thought they were perfect so this is the window lane i probably picked this up because i couldn't pick up my normal one i think out of all of them i like the astonish window cleaning thing i don't have one here so anyway this is the window lane okay next item i have is a fridge microwave cleaner and as you can see i've used it up i wouldn't go out my way to pick up one of these osmo is what it is but it was all right it did the job i don't think you need a specific microwave or fridge cleaner i remember my mum used to clean the fridge i'm sure she used to use vinegar vinegar and water i'm sure that's what she used to use to clean the fridge anyway next thing is the astonish and i do like astonish i must admit and i've got to admit it is mrs hinch that introduced me to astonish and it's not a, an expensive product it's quite an inexpensive product note i am not using the word cheap so this is the astonish kitchen cleaner zesty lemon yep does the job would definitely repurchase then we have mr muscle oven cleaner I hate cleaning the oven but you know what i do is i keep on top of things the more you do them the less harder they are to clean so basically i spray this leave it clean whatever i've pulled out of the oven and then go into it but let me tell you when you're cleaning ovens the best product is elbow grease to me that's it a wee kind of those metal thingies and some elbow grease is the best thing for cleaning an oven i don't really even know if these things make a difference that's that next item i have a bathroom cleaner so this is the power force bathroom cleaner again it's probably been the best deal and i've put on the list bathroom cleaner and this is what rico has come home with just power force don't know if it's any particular make but that's that again i don't have a particular particular preference for bathroom cleaners i don't have one that i dislike i just put bathroom cleaner and then rico comes home with it now these products i do like and they are dearer than the rest these are supposed to be like the so this is the method products so they do ones for kitchens they do ones for bathrooms they do all purpose ones which is what this one is so this is the method anti-back all-purpose cleaner wild rhubarb we all love a bit of wild rhubarb kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria blah 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 so I tend to like this for the kitchen because it's plant-based it's natural it's all of that I tend to like to use this one in the kitchen and this is a repurchase for me this is something that I do like to use 
in the kitchen. So that's one, two. The next item is a good old Zaflora. This has been out for years and years and years and years. So I, I this, I kind of use it in lots of places. So this is a concentrated um, disinfectant. So I have bottles of this diluted, which I tend to just use to spray here, there and whatever I feel I need to disinfect at the time. I put some in my bucket when I'm mopping the floors. Sometimes I just pour it down the sink. I spray my washing machine with it. I kind of use it for a lot of things. So this is the mandarin and lime. And I also have another one here, which is in rhubarb and bergamot. I've got a thing about rhubarb, it appears. Zoflora is a definite repurchase time and time again for me. Okay, so let's move on to softness for washing clothes. Softness, I am particular with. Label is off this because Rico takes the label off because you have to recycle the label differently from the bottle. So I, I, I don't know what one that is. But I do, and it is a make that I like. And it's this one. That's what it is. And that's what that one was there as well. So it's the Comfort Intense that I like. So he came home with this one. I said, do not buy that again. I don't like it. So for the clothes I like, Comfort Intense. And I have two of them. And then I have this one. I don't know. This is probably an Aldi one. And it's an Almat So Soft Clear Skies. Nah, I need the Comfort one Intense. Okay, on to washing clothes. We have Ariel. I used to buy one for the colours and one for the whites, but now we just do the all-in-one pods. So I have one, two, three, four. And a big one, five. So, um, yeah, this is what I like to use for washing the clothes. But I hate hate these lids these child proof lids i struggle with them I, I really do and see when i can i break them so i don't have that i hate it and i'll leave them open and then if rico if i say to rico could you put the washing on it closes them and then i struggle to open them so i fight with these boxes i hate the closure of these i don't even have children in the house anymore to worry about them and honestly Next item, I have here some wax melts. So these are the vanilla wax melts from B&M. So I think these are B&M's own make. These cost a pound. I do like a bit of vanilla scent going through the house. Yep, so that's my favourite. And I have winterberry here, which well, I can't remember, so it must have been okay. Again, a pound. I don't burn them a lot I like to burn a wax melt when I finish my housework and I feel my house is looking just perfect I don't always kind of put wax melts on but yeah B&M ones are the ones I go for most of the time next item we have here so these are Jo Malone dupes although they have recently changed the packaging this is the hotel collection from um, Aldi and this is in Rose Noir. Do I have Rose Noir here? No, I don't. I must have thrown the context. Or maybe it's what I'm using just now. Okay, so this is what they look like. This is what you get inside. And they really are quite intense in this scent. I, I really love them. And I know a lot of people, what they do is they'll, if they've bought a Joe Malone one in the past, they'll empty this into the Joe Malone bottle. But they are really nice. So anyway, I, I quite like most of them. Probably my least favourite, I think, is the basil one. But anyway, so here we have number 24, Nose Noir, Noir. Very nice. I do like the pomegranate one. That's in, still in there. So I do go through a lot of these. I like them in my bathrooms. That's where I use this. Number three, the pomegranate. Pomegranate. Number three, the pomegranate. And I also have here Sweet almond and macaroon i did like that one and and they do smell like whatever they're called so the, you do get the almond 
as well. So this is number one um, lime and basil and I think that's my least favourite. And again, with these, uh, I'll put them on the shopping list and Rico will pick up um, whatever he sees but I'll specifically say to him avoid lime and basil but if you can't get the others then pick up lime and basil and that's how that works so okay that's my rubbish all done and dusted oh my goodness I'm gonna give you a shot of what is going on down there because oh my goodness it's mad 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 what's going on down there this is what's going on down here madness <laughs> okay all that's left is to say thank you very much for watching and uh, if you would like to see more videos from me I'm gonna link one here here and if you're not already subscribed just press the A right here and I'll see you next time bye happy vlogmas <laughs>